let us have the synthetic division. According to lumenlearning.com, synthetic division is a shorthand method of dividing polynomials for the special case of dividing by a linear factor whose leading coefficient is 1. Let us have example number 1. Divide 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 by x minus 3. Let us divide this using the synthetic division method. In the synthetic division method, we just need the coefficients of our dividend. And then our divisor would be equated to 0 and we solve for the value of x. Again, we need the coefficients and then the value of x when equated to 0 of our divisor. That is all that we need. So let's do this. We have 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 divided by x minus 3. Let's have this one. Now, we can, we will be writing down uh, this uh, figure, no? And we will write here the value of x. And we will write here two columns, two rows rather. Okay. One row for the coefficients and then another for the products, no? Because we will be multiplying the, we will do some multiplications, no? Okay, so let's do this. Again, we write down the coefficients and then we write here the value of x in our divisor when equated to x. So let's go back. We have 3x squared minus 7x minus 6. The coefficients are 3, negative 7, and negative 6. Okay, you write it down. We have 3, negative 7, and negative 6. Okay, now let's go to our divisor, x minus 3. When x minus 3 is equated to 0, this will become x equals, when 3 is uh, transferred to the right side of our equation, it becomes positive 3. That is now the value of x. So that is our divisor, 3. We write it here. Okay, positive 3. The first, next is we need to just bring down the leading coefficient, 3, here. And then we multiply 3 by the divisor. That is 3 times 3 is 9. And we write the product on the second column, 9. And then we add, okay, we add negative 7 plus 9 is 2. And then we multiply again the sum by the uh, number here that is 2 times 3 and that is equal to 6. And negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, the rightmost number here is the remainder of our quotient. It's the remainder. As you can see, it's 0. And these are the coefficients of our quotient. In writing our quotient, take note that it would start uh, one degree lower than the dividend. So in this case, the dividend is 3x squared. Thus, uh, the quotient must start with x, no? one degree lower than the dividend. So in this case, we are, we'll, these are again the coefficients. Then we will write it as 3, pair it with x, and then since this is positive 2, then we write it plus 2. So that means, that means when 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 is divided by x minus 3, the quotient is 3x plus 2. So how did we get this? Okay, first, again, we write down the numerical coefficients of our dividend. We have 3, again, negative 7, and then negative 6. Okay, 3, negative 7, and negative 6. And we equate our divisor to 0 and we solve for x to get our value that will be written here no, on this side. And then we just bring down the leading coefficient, bring it down, and then multiply it by the number here that is 3 times 3. And the product will be written on the second row that's 9. And then this will be added. We will repeat the process 
until no coefficient is left. No? Negative 7 plus 9 is 2. Then again, multiply 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So again, the rightmost number here is the remainder. So there is no remainder in this case. And these, the remaining uh, numbers going to the left are what we call the coefficients of our quotient. And then in writing our quotient, we will start with uh, one degree lower than the dividend. Our dividend is x squared. Next is x. No? Thus, we will write the coefficient 3 and then pair it with x. And then since this is positive 2, then we have plus 2. The next is a constant. Okay? Thus, when 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 is divided by x minus 3, it is equal to 3x plus 2. Okay, let's have example number 2. Example number 2, we have 3, 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 when divided by x plus 2. Again, let's draw this figure and let's identify our number here first. Now, we have Again, our divisor, x plus 2, will be equated to 0, and then we solve for x, and this is now x is equal to negative 2. So our number here is negative 2. Okay, let's identify the first column. The first column is consists of the coefficients. We have the coefficients are 2, negative 3, 4 and 5. Let's write it down. 2, negative 3, 4 and 5. We have 2, negative 3, 4, then 5, the constant. Once you have written the coefficients and then the number, okay, the value of x, we will just bring down the leading coefficient, the first number, the first coefficient, 2, and then we multiply it by the value of x here we have 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 don't forget to write the first product on the second column and then we add negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7 and negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14 and then we add again 4 plus 14 is 18 and then we multiply again 18 times negative 2 is negative 36 and 5 plus negative 36 is negative 31 so we have a remainder in this case which is negative 31 so to write our quotient when 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 is divided by x plus 2 we will start with x squared right so one degree lower let's write it down we have 2 these are the coefficients. This is the remainder. x squared minus 7x. And then this is plus 18. And we have, since this is negative, we will write our remainder minus 31 over the divisor, which is x plus 2. Okay, so again, the, in writing the quotient, uh, we will write the remainder, but uh, let's start with the coefficients. No? Using the coefficients, it's one degree lower. No? We'll start our, our quotient one degree lower than the dividends. In this case, it's x cubed, thus we have x squared. And write down the coefficient, we have 2x squared minus 7x after x squared is x and then after x is a constant plus 18 minus since this is negative then we have minus 31 and over our divisor which is x plus 2 thus when 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 is divided by x plus 2 the quotient is 2x squared minus 7x plus 18 minus 31 over x plus Two. Okay, let's have another example. Example number three, divide 5x to the fourth 
plus 2x squared minus 15x plus 10 by x minus 2. Okay, so again, let's equate x minus 2 equals 0 and x now is equal to positive 2. So let's write down. Okay, then this is 2. Now, let's determine the coefficients. As you can see here, the terms are 5x to the fourth, 2x cubed squared minus 15x and then 10. Now, the coefficients are 5, 2, negative 15, and 10. But in this case, we also have a coefficient that is 0. Why? Because after x to the fourth, there must be a term that is x cubed, right? So x cubed, then x squared minus 15 plus 10. In synthetic division, we need to include 0, in writing the coefficients to terms that are missing in our div dividend. So we call it missing terms because they are not uh, there, no? They are not there. They're just, uh, they are supposed to be there. The 5x to the fourth, it should be plus 0x cubed plus 2x squared minus 15x plus 10. So we have to write 0. So 5, 0, 2, negative 15, and 10. So let's have it. 5, 0, 2, negative 15, and positive 10. Now let's go back to our uh, first two examples. As you can see, we have, there is a term that has x squared, that has x at a constant. So there is no missing term. So we did not write 0 in our coefficient. Next, in example 2, x cubed, x squared, x, and then the constant. So there is no missing term. In this case, we have a missing term, x to the fourth. There must be x cubed. But since x cubed is missing, we write 0 in our uh, coefficients. We have 5, 0, 2, negative 15, and 10. So let's continue the process. We bring down the leading coefficient or the first coefficient, 5, and then we multiply it by 2. We have 5 times 2 is 10, and then we add 0 plus 10 is 10, and then we multiply again. 10 times 2 is 20, then 20 plus 2 is 22, 22 times 2 is 44, and then negative 15 plus 44, this is 29. Okay, is that right? No? 29. It's positive 29. And then 29 times 2 is 58. And we have our remainder 10 plus 58, 68. Okay, so let's write down our quotient. Again, the dividend is x to the fourth. Our quotient will start at x cubed. Then we have 5x cubed. plus 10x squared, again, plus 22x, plus the constant, so 3, 2, 1, and then constant. We have 29, plus we have 68 over the divisor, which is x minus 2. So this is how we write the quotient when we use the synthetic division. Let us have our second to the last example. Oh, our last example, which is 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 7x minus 6 and divided by 2x minus 1. Again, 2x minus 1 equals 0 and then we have 2x equals 1. And then x now is equal to 1 half. In that case, we uh, solve for the value of x. Then let's write it down here. We have, again, x is 1 half. Okay. Let's write down the coefficients. Are the terms complete? Yes. We have 2, 9, 7, and negative 6. So 3, 
the exponents of x are 3, 2, 1, and 0 complete. So we just copy the coefficients 2, 9, 7, and negative 6. We have 2, 9, 7. And then the constant term, which is negative 6. Okay, again, bring down the leading coefficient or the first coefficient 2 multiplied by 1 half. That is equal to 1. Odd, this is equal to 10. And then 10 times 1 half is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. And then 12 times 1 half is 6. And negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Again, no remainder. Let's write down our quotient. We have 2 as the leading coefficient, x. Since our dividend starts with x cubed, our quotient would start with x squared plus, again, 10x. And then the constant term, which is 12. Thus, when 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 7x minus 6 is divided by 2x minus 1, the quotient is 2x squared plus 10x plus 12. I hope this clarifies what synthetic division method is.